I felt compelled to make another video reaching out to atheists about what I'm experiencing with regards to universal truth. In my psychic medium sessions, I noticed that deceased loved ones were coming forward and expressing a sigh of relief over the fact that they weren't atheists while they were alive. I see dead people. Um, when I communicated with them on the other side, they were like, thank God I was rewarded for my faith. It is a dimension of nonsense, as vast as space and as timeless as the human race. It is the middle ground between fantasy and reality, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of make-believe and the summit of stupidity. This is the dimension of incredulity. It is an area which we call the theist zone. And it was, it was like this relief energy, the wiping of the brow, and it was Thank God I believed in God while I was alive. And I said, why? Like, why is it such a big deal that you believed in God while you were alive? Like, what are you, what are you saying you avoided? Like, what are you afraid of? And this is, this is what they showed me. I can't wait to see what you're about to draw on that pad. But before we get to that, I'd like to point out that my first question would be something along the lines of, why would an entity worthy of the name God bother to punish insignificant creatures such as ourselves for not believing in it in the first place? Why would it care whether we believed or not? It just really makes no sense to me. My belief isn't going to change it in any way. My belief wouldn't make this entity any stronger, smarter, or wiser. A God that would be upset enough to punish me for simply not believing something on bad evidence just seems vindictive and petty. This is, a, you know, our lovely Earth dimension. And this is the other side. Obviously, that's where you go when you cross over. And what they showed me was what is required. When you are alive on Earth, faith is required. When you are on the other side, no faith is required. And the reason for this is because on the other side, they are all knowing. Wow, that's convenient. So you get these superpowers once you die. It's funny how religions always seem to promise you the goods after death, but rarely before you die. It's like the ultimate scam. They don't have to provide any evidence for their claims, but they expect you to believe you'll receive lots of special goodies once you're dead. And surprise, surprise, no one can confirm whether you were lied to or not. Also, if I'm all knowing, wouldn't that sort of make me a god? Sure, I might not be as physically powerful or as magical as an omnipotent being, but I would think being all-knowing would at least grant me demigod status, right? Everyone's consciousness is connected and you are part of one big collective consciousness that is attached to universal truth. We are the Borg. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile. You are shown what the universal truths are. You are all-knowing when you pass. Because you are all-knowing, you know that God exists. It's an absolute and it's a truth. No faith is required. When you live in this earth plane, you're not sure if God exists. You're not all-knowing. You're not sure. There's no hardcore scientific evidence proving that. So, if this god is supposedly able to grant you the knowledge of its existence after you die, why wouldn't it grant that knowledge while you live? What's the point of tricking some people into not believing, and ultimately some sort of punishment due to the weak evidence provided? Surely this being would know ahead of time exactly who would believe and who wouldn't. I mean, you really only carry out an experiment if you're unsure of the outcome. If God wanted me to believe it existed, it would know exactly what sort of evidence would convince me and provide it, especially if it's supposedly all good and actively wants to prevent my eternal punishment. Faith is required. Faith is required. Blind faith is required in order to believe in the existence of the divine. While you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> no.
<laughs> just just while you're alive, people. Look, when you're dead, all will be revealed. You'll no longer have to take my word on it anymore because you'll magically be given the right answer. What? You don't believe me? Absence of faith, faith, hard line drawn in the sand. What matters is when you're on this part of the line, when you're on this side of the line. That's what matters. When you go to this side of the line, too late. Too late. So in that video that I made, atheism is incorrect, what was I saying? I was saying the other side asked me to make this video reaching out to atheists because they don't want you to cross over and find out you were wrong because there are consequences. So what matters is the few short years we have here, but the eternity we spend on the other side is meh. And if these spirits are all knowing, how about they provide you with some evidence? For example, next time you're talking with them, ask them for the cure to cancer or what next week's lottery numbers are. Better yet, make a video outlining some of the amazing knowledge you're going to glean from the other side before your next spirit to human chin wag, and then post the answers once you get them. If you can successfully provide the cure to cancer in next week's lottery numbers, it would be far more convincing than the crap you've thrown together here. In this video, you've basically said we need blind faith in your superstitious religion. Why? Because dead people told you so, and if we don't, there's going to be some scary consequences. So here's the problem. What are the consequences of having no faith? It is a lack of virtue. So because you have no faith, you are considered a quote, lower unevolved soul. Your belief system matters. Believing in things on insufficient evidence is a sign of an evolved soul. <laughs> faith isn't a virtue. It's the opposite. It's a willingness to set your critical thinking skills aside and believe anything. And all that aside, does that mean after you die, this God reverses your evolution if you're a believer? If faith is a virtue and a sign of your soul's evolution, why would God strip you of that after you die? Nothing you say in this video makes any sense at all. Your belief system matters a lot. Are you aligned with truth? Are you an energetic match for the truth? The truth is the light. What is the truth? It's black and white. There's no in between. How can we evaluate whether we're on the side of truth if we're not allowed to evaluate the evidence? Faith is not a reliable path to truth. Religions have believed all sorts of crazy things that we know aren't true. Here's just a few. Mental illness is a sign of demon possession. Human sacrifice will bring rain and appease gods. There are gods living on the summit of Mount Olympus. Volcanoes and storms are signs of an angry god. These are the fruits of faith. The fruits of evidence-based thinking are all around you. The computer you use to upload your video. The refrigerator you use to preserve your food. The heating system in your house that keeps you warm at night. The clothing you're wearing while filming this video. None of it requires blind faith, and all of it has helped to improve human well-being. We've managed to increase our lifespan, eradicate diseases that killed us by the millions, and explore other planets in our solar system using evidence, reason, and the scientific method. No need for blind faith. When you cross over, your soul is a ball of energy. What is that ball of energy an energetic match for? The truth and the light, or the dark and falsities? What if the truth and the light is God? and the dark and falsities, his absence of God. Absence of truth, which is what atheism is. It's a total absence of truth. Uh, no, it's an absence of belief or a disbelief in God. It's also the truth. What if the truth in the light is a cosmic Twinkie that pulses out the idea that God doesn't exist and theists are unable to receive this message and will forever miss out on the cosmic Twinkie's soft, creamy goodness? You'll find out after you die. Just believe blindly. All knowing dead people told me so. People dismiss the paranormal all the time. There's no reasonable explanation for that. I'm just going to pretend like it never happened. I don't need people thinking I'm crazy. It's like the other side's constantly coming through for people. We're just ignoring it, blowing it off. It's too difficult to face. People make up crap all the time as well. People don't know why that happened. It must be a demon, a god, an angel, a spirit. No natural explanation has ever been replaced by a supernatural one. Thousands of supernatural explanations have been replaced by natural ones. It's a one-way street, and you're driving on the wrong side of the road. You know, blind faith is rewarded, and your creator is here to foster soul's growth inside of you, and sometimes that soul's growth involves, cha involves overcoming challenges. Let me fix that for you. Blind faith is crap. I don't believe for a second that you can talk to the dead and your god likely doesn't exist. That's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching, take care, and cheers.